Welcome to the first episode of Horror Story. In today's story, we'll talk about a small story that happens in the cabin of the woods. The woods were thick and dark, the trees so tall that they seemed to touch the sky. A narrow path wound its way through the forest, leading to a small cabin that sat on the edge of a lake. It was a peaceful spot, a place to get away from the world and escape into nature, but not all was it seemed. Sarah and her friends had rented the cabin for the weekend, hoping to spend a few days relaxing and enjoying the great outdoors. But from the moment they arrived, things felt off. The air was thick with an uneasy tension, and a chill ran down Sarah's spine as she stepped inside the cabin. It was dark and musty with old furniture and a fireplace that hadn't been used in years. But the real horror lay in the attic, as always. It was locked with a heavy padlock that couldn't be broken. Sarah tried to shake off the feeling of unease that settled over her, telling herself that it was just overactive imagination, as we all do when we encounter some spooky situation. But the others felt it too, and they all avoided the attic, leaving it untouched for the entire weekend, which was a pretty good idea. On the second night, the group sat around the fireplace telling ghost stories and trying to shake off the feeling of dread that hung over them. That's when they heard it, a scratching sound coming from above them like something was trying to claw its way out of the attic. They all froze, their eyes wide with fear. Sarah's heart pounded in her chest. The scratching grew louder, joined by a low moaning sound that seemed to come from the wall themselves. Then the light flickered and the fireplace went out. The cabin was plunged into darkness and the scratching and moaning grew louder. Sarah's friend screamed and she clutched onto them trying to calm them down. But it was no use. Something was in the cabin with them. Something that had been awakened by their presence. The scratching and moaning continued for what it felt like an eternity and the darkness seemed to press in on them, suffocating them. But then, just as suddenly as it began, it stopped. The lights flickered back on and the fireplace roared to life once more. The group looked around, their eyes wide, wide with fear, but there was nothing there. No sign of the thing that had been with them just moments before. And as they sat there, shivering and huddled together, they knew that they would never forget the horror of the night in the cabin of the woods. Thank you for your lesson. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.